Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with, you guessed it, another D-Stash haul. Um, this one was found on the Maggie Holmes Crate Paper Facebook page. Uh, a woman named Amber had posted that she was thinking about selling some items and I just, you know, direct messaged her and um, found out what she had and I'm going to sh just show you it's a mix of a few different collections not a huge D stash but some exciting things so the first thing I'm going to show you is um, just a pack of some uh, carousel uh, ephemera that she had um, or just some random bits from ca the carousel uh, ephemera pack she didn't have it in the packaging it's open which I don't mind I don't have a whole lot of the uh, carousel um, ephemera so it's always nice to have that um, she also had um, an open pack of the um, the enamel stickers, so um, two missing, uh, which is totally fine, and I can use these um, before I open up another pack, so perfect. Um, she had an open pack of the stickers, and um, yeah, so again, I don't care I, if things are open. She was like, I'm surprised anybody wants to buy anything open, and I was like, oh no, I definitely do, I don't mind. Um, she also had an open pack of the Maggie Holmes, um, this was, I think, just the regular Maggie Holmes collection with these, um, cork stickers. Again, obviously a lot of them are missing, but that's totally okay. Um, these, I think these would go really well with, like, Market Square with the horses. So, that, those will be cool to play with. Alright, she also had, um, some of these, uh, like, gold puffy um sticker uh, like sentiment stickers i think these might be from oasis but i'm not 100 percent sure i'm sure some of you ladies do know but i don't know the packaging is not included so i'll just add those to my uh thickers stash she had an open pack of the oasis uh, puffy stickers which um, i do have an unopened pack so it'll be nice to be able to play with these and i love the cacti of course all right um she had some of the Here and There collection, which is one of my favorite crepe paper collections. Um, she had an open chipboard. It's only missing a couple of them, so it's still mostly full. And I do have a couple of these that I had found a Tuesday morning some time ago. Um, but most of mine, like most of them have come off of the backing and they're just kind of like stuck in the plastic. Um, so it's nice to have one that's not, you know, quite so falling apart. <laughs> she had a pack of the ephemera, again, open uh, just in a little plastic bag, but I think I only have the one pack of the ephemera, so it's nice to have an open pack so I can play with it a little more. Uh, she also had a 6x6 six six paper pad. Um, some of the scraps are in here, and um, she said she did use a few sheets, but it's mostly here. And I do have a couple of these. And then she also had these um, here and there, uh, puffy thickers. They're like, um, this is glossy puffy stickers. And I do have, I think, a couple packs of these as well. You can still find these at Joanne's too, I'm pretty sure. And the last thing from that collection is, at least I think that's the last thing, is the um, car stock stickers, which I don't think I have any of these. And, um, I'm pretty sure I don't, but if I do, I might only have like one pack. There's like a couple missing, but mostly here. So I'm pretty excited to have these. All right. One of the most exciting parts of this D-Sash, she had some Oasis. <laughs> and I was shocked that she had this. Um, so this is a 6x6 paper pad. This is literally the first time I've ever seen this paper. So I'm really excited to have it in my hands. Um, so Oasis came out in 2016. All right, so we have some little cut aparts, some florals, some like wood grain, some pineapples, this nice like ombre. A couple of the sheets are missing, she said. I like this leaf pattern, some little flamingos, the little um, motor home uh, design. These are cool little circles, some little sentiments. It says weekend over and over again, a little chevron design, some waves. This is really pretty. I love this. I'm so excited. When she showed me that she had some Oasis, I was, I literally gasped. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this was definitely a huge score. And then it just repeats. Oh, okay, cool. There's the one with the little bathing suits. Um, and then that one's cool with like little stamps. So pretty. 
I'm excited to have that and I will play with it. Um, she also had some like some of the Oasis paper like 12 by 12 paper that had been like cut up some like double sided sheets. Um, she had made it into like a notebook but she took it out and that's fine I can cut this up and then uh, I'm just excited to have some of this collection it's so hard to get <laughs> this one's really pretty Yeah, just a nice little selection of some paper. Um, she also had this, um, I can't remember if this is from that carousel sticker pack or not, but I don't really use these a whole lot, so I'll just throw those in with a D stash. She had some of this, um, let's see, hold on. I'm trying to do one, at a t one collection at a time. Um, she had a, an Oasis sticker sheet, but obviously a lot of them are used, but they're still a good bit here. Um, so we have the flamingo, the cactus, the little floaty. The flamingos are so cute. Some sentiments. I love that um, popsicle. So this is really exciting to have this because, again, this collection is super, super hard to find. Uh, she had one sheet, um, although a couple of the tags were cut apart. Um, with This is the Oasis uh, Specialty vel Vellum with the tags and the foiling. So pretty. So I'll be able to play with that. She also had an Oasis chipboard, but again, it's not a full unopened pack. There are some missing, but that's okay. Um, I will totally play with this because it's already opened and I won't feel so bad about it. Um, but it's so pretty. I love that cactus. So pretty. And then there's a little bit more paper. She had, um, like I said, she had some that had been like cut into. So there's that flamingo paper. Um, this one with the leaves. And the, that chevron, this one. And then this I can cut apart. These little bathing suits. The little campers. Uh, she has, let's see, this one here. And then there was a couple of sheets that were not, let's see, maybe a couple that were not cut into. Let me see. Yeah. So one sheet of the waves with the ombre. That is so pretty. And then this floral, which is absolutely beautiful. And then weekend all over it. All right. I think that is all of the oasis. I think so. Um, she had a few sheets, of, or no, hold on. Is this, from, this is from Oasis too. It's an open uh, ephemera pack. So again, because all this is open, I won't feel so bad like playing with it. <laughs> it's not like a hoarder situation where, you know, you don't want to cut into it or whatever. You don't want to open it up. <laughs> um, so, okay. So she had a couple of sheets of carousel paper. Let's see, so we have this one here. This one here, which is one of my favorites. I really like this one a lot too. I love that pink with the polka dots. So pretty. And I don't have much of the carousel like double-sided sheets. I just mostly have what's in the paper pads. Wood green. This one I think is my, one of, it's definitely like one of my top faves of this collection. Cause you guys know how much I love like turquoise and then those. Okay. I think that's all from Carousel. Okay. And then the rest is going to be Wild Hearts. She had a little bit of, sorry, I dropped something I'm trying to pick it up. Okay. So she had a little bit of Wild Hearts. Um, she had some of the ephemera, which I'm not going to go through in depth but she had a few pieces left and um some of the paper that was like she had cut up um she had an open chipboard which still ha still has a few pieces in it and I do have some of this chipboard she also had the wild heart 12 by 12 paper pad which um has some pages cut up and some scraps in here I've hauled this paper pen up not too long ago and I do have a couple of those. And then the last thing um, was, I think this is from the, let's see, Willow Lane sticker pad. She just threw these in here, I think. 
Um, I'm not sure what this is from. I think this is part of the Willow Lane. I'm trying to remember for sure. Um, she has this little um, bloom um, sticker thing. It's got some like washi strips. There's not a whole lot in here, but she threw this in, in, in uh, as well. And um, this as well. I don't remember which one this is from, but again, I don't really use flat alphas that much. And then she also threw this in from Pretty Little Studio, these little arrow um, ephemera pieces. So, so again, that is my quick little D stash from um, Amber over on Facebook. So uh, I was just really excited to find some of those pieces like the Oasis for sure. So, so yeah, that is my quick little D stash haul um, of the week. <laughs> I'm really hoping that I don't find anything else good because I need to stop buying D sashes. I have so much stuff I need to sort and organize, uh, but I've been working on that, on that recently. So yeah, if anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you have not already, I greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.